Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are filming a what's new in my wardrobe slash closet. I figured because on Instagram, a lot of you guys have been asking where I get my headbands, my sunglasses, my clothes, my night um, satin dresses. Basically just talk about what I've been loving a little bit extra recently. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do because I always post my clothes and my stuff. On stories there so make sure you follow me on there with that being said let's hop right into what your girls just been loving a little bit extra I want to start with my headbands because this is something that I've been getting so many questions about lately if you guys follow me on Insta then you would have known that I have recently been obsessed with wearing headbands like obsessed I get mine from ASOS because I find them amazing they're super comfortable and the prices are amazing so you usually get like a pack of two or you can buy them singles as well um i have a pink black this is like a green a white and i also have a beige but that one is i can't find it right now but a sauce it is baby literally all of them are from there i would love to get my hands on a red one lately so if you guys know where i can find a red headband please don't hesitate to comment down below I'll continue with a sauce because we're already talking about it my sunglasses girl these have been a hot topic lately because they are freaking hot like everyone's just been very curious to know where they're from and i do get it like they are just super bad <sighs> asos it is like literally they sold out in what like 10 minutes maybe but i did have it in my cart and so like whenever it came back in stock like you can see and you can just click it on i will make sure to put it down below so you guys can find it if it's still in stock but girl, these are just phenomenal. They're clear pair of sunglasses that I just, whenever I wear these, I feel like a bad bitch. Like, sorry for the bad like words, but it's just, it is what it is. I do have two dresses um, from there. See, I love ASOS, but recently I haven't been shopping on there so much because I just usually get pieces that I don't end up wearing. So I've been very selective about the things that I do get. But recently I did put an order and I got two dresses. The first one is this long. If you guys have seen my weekly vlogs, then you would have seen when I unpacked this. It's super long, goes all the way down to my feet. I am 5'5", five five, and this one goes even a little bit lower than my feet. So I can even wear this with a heel. It has a open back curve. The color is yellow slash orange i would say more towards see depends though because like this i don't know if you guys could see yeah that's a yellow that's an orange maybe i got it in a size uk8 it's from a brand called made i was just gonna say it's from a brand called made in turkey <laughs> next up which is actually also the last um clothing piece from asos is this dress a nude dress kind of has like a bustier style zips at the back and then flares like a skirt um down there wow this dress with a pair of i was thinking like cowboy boots this one is from a brand called eight hour and i got this in a size uk8 as well i will rock this this summer and i feel like you can wear it chill you can also dress it up with heels maybe even a pair of these <laughs> That's so my style lately. I've just been loving super like feminine dresses and this is 100% gonna be worn like a million times, okay? So that is that. And then from ASOS, if we're gonna continue, oh, actually I got this little bag from there as well, this red bag. See, reason to why I got this is because I usually need to bring my vlogging camera nowadays, like wherever I go. And all my bags are petite ones. So I figured this one, you can even wear it on a night out, like without it being like a massive bag. And I can fit all my essentials in it. And the red color of it is just so nice. So also, can we appreciate the fact that it's got gold hardware? Can brands just stop making silver hardware? Like it's super out, nobody likes it, okay? Like a nylon material and girl, this is such a vibe this summer and I just, woo! And I, this is from a brand called My Accessories London, I believe. I will obviously make sure to put it down below as well. But well, this bag has just been my fave. For shoes from ASOS, I have been obsessed. Platform flip-flops are back. And I'm living for it. In the 90s, my mom used to wear them. She has so many pictures of like wearing um, platform flip-flops and they're such a vibe. So I picked up this pink pair first and then I was like, oh my God, like kind of literally need them in every single color. So I got it in black as well. 
Like the thing with these are like they're so comfortable. I wore these eight hours yesterday. I was walking around the city and my feet were completely fine. They're just such a vibe. Pink one, maybe less wearable, but like still a vibe if you're just wearing a casual outfit. Thinking about uh, flip flops, I also got this pair. It's not like a similar style. This one is literally just the ones you wear to the beach. But I love the color of this and I figured it's super simple. Like if I want to go to the shop or just run errands and be comfy and like fun color, right? So I love these are from a brand called Havana's and they also had like pink and purple and orange, I believe. Um, might pick up a couple of other ones because they're just super comfortable. I want to move on to PLT because I went a little nuts the other day. I got a long skirt. It is this maxi skirt that goes all the way down to your feet. It has a slit on the side and then it cinches on one side. And it also has these. I got this in a size UK 8. <sighs> wow. This one is called the Black Woven Rouge Tie Front Maxi Skirt. Like... See, usually when I get things from PLT, it's like either hit or miss. Like they can be really good or really trash. I have been waiting to wear it, but like the material is not the most comfortable, but mm, who cares, honestly, because it was so cheap as well. Um, I would probably wear this with like a bodysuit or a nice little bralette. And then I picked up these Jacquemus inspired crop tops, got them in this cream color and then this black. I also have a picture of these when I'm wearing them on my Instagram, so go ahead and watch that, like it, subscribe, not comment, everything. <laughs> you can't even subscribe to Insta. Have like an extra string, super cute, wow, such a vibe. <laughs> then we have this cult Gaia inspired. See, everything from PLT is super inspired by like high-end brands, and we love that because your girl's on a budget, right? This one is the cult Gaia inspired dress that has a cut out um, on the sides. Literally can't even show you. I will make sure to put it on and show you. It goes all the way down to your feet. It's like in a knitted material. Woo! This is fire and like it was exactly like the pictures which I appreciate when things look the same in real life. And this was in a size medium. Reason to why I picked it up in medium because I am just not bothered when my you know, and my body just is everywhere. So I'm like, you know what? Nowadays, I prefer to be comfortable. Even if that means sizing up, I could not care less. Like I'm 24 almost. I don't have the time to be skinny. And lastly, from PLT clothing wise is this dress, which I think I just got a little bit hyped um, on the website because like, when am I actually gonna wear this? I don't really know. Also the same style, cut out, halter neck top. Um, with a skirt that is just super cute. I just think this one on vacation maybe in Sweden I wouldn't maybe on a night out though, but woo. And from PLT. I lastly got two pair. I Got three pairs of sunglasses. Sorry, but I don't know where the third pair is Anyway, so I got these clear sunnies these actually are um, They have a UV protector as well, even though you might think they don't Ooh, cute, right? PLT is just a plug for cute sunglasses. I got the same in this lilac color. This one just for photos. I don't think I would wear this in real life. But yeah, super cute. I've been loving. Oh, so I have been wearing super cute um, satin night dresses lately. And I got so many questions asking where my satin dresses were from. So I figured, let me show you. This pink one, which I literally wear every day, is from Victoria's Secret. I got it a while ago. It's this fuchsia pink silk dress this is so comfortable like i'm usually a person that likes to sleep naked but like with these you can't even feel them on your body especially now that it's summer it's just so hot i can't be bothered to have anything on my skin okay so i picked this one up from victoria's secret size extra small and wow this is just effortless it's sexy it's feminine it's just grown and then i also picked up a yellow one but this is actually from a brand called wolf and whistle i've never heard of them but i just saw them and I figured it was such a nice color. And the model of it is so nice because it's actually open in the back and it has a little tie. It's just sexy. And moving on to H&M because I probably have never gotten so many questions about a pair of jeans. I wore these in one story on my Insta and there were so many DMs asking, where are your jeans from? Where are your jeans from? Where are your jeans? This pants is so vintage and retro and wow, the color of denim. And you know what the best part of it is? It was 200 crones. That's like 
not even 20 pounds because it's from the divided section so like it was so cheap and the fits of these are just one up in a size UK 8 again so 36 and they just wow like I'm very impressed with H&M I don't know if like they've stepped it up or if I just have been missing out um, I also got this black um, if you guys can see the material it's like ribbed material skirt it's just a very simple throw on skirt and I figured because it is maxi it goes all the way down for those days, you just want to throw something on this with like a white t-shirt or a crop top or a big t Whatever you want to wear, you can wear. It's super simple and comfy and I just picked it up. It was really cheap as well. It was on the sale. So that was a very nice piece that I got. I filmed a full um, Zara Tran haul. If you guys haven't seen that, I will make sure to link it down below. So that's where I'm showing you all the Zara pieces. So I just figured it would be very stupid for me to like show you everything again but i forgot to show you this piece which i also got from zara it is this long green sage, sage green anyway long green dress that is open at the back ah, and it crisscrosses i've worn these in one of my uh, weekly vlogs as well and yeah zara i got it in a size medium and i just wow i was very stunned with this dress and I wanted to show you because I didn't do it in my Zara Twine haul and I will make sure to put the reference number down below for you. So Zara was just really killing it as well. I'm a brand called Philippa K. I believe it's Swedish. Correct me if I'm wrong. I picked up two pieces. I, wow, like Philippa K really came through this time. So I got this Skims inspired, it looks like Skims, and it like cinches your body so nice. The color is like a powdery pink um, bodysuit that cinch, look, like can you see that red cinch material? And it makes your boobs look so nice. The size is extra small slash small and it's called the seamless rib bodysuit. It was a bit pricey, but personally I feel like these are staples. They will last in your wardrobe forever and it's just this nice throw on that you can even wear for like night outs or day-to-day -day basis i just i really like this and even though it was pricey i really couldn't care less because it's nice also from philippa k i picked up a halter neck dress this is sold out in every philippa k store in every single size so i got it in a size large but i could not care less because this dress is so dreamy halter neck it's super luxury uh, material it goes all the way down to my feet and it's like in a nude stony kind of color wow this dress i would wear every single day of the summer it's super matilda dear inspired i feel like this one with a nice tan maybe curly hair glowy makeup like i cannot wait to wear this i actually just got it yesterday so that's i haven't worn it yet but am i excited to hell yes okay if you guys are following me on instagram then you would have seen this little cute fila dress dress no girl it's a skirt a blue skirt it's actually a tennis skirt because as you guys can see it has a shorts underneath if you guys are training in it but I just got it majorly because I figured the color was insane so yeah it's from Fila I picked this one up in size 36 small moving on to a dress which I picked up it's from Sandro Paris but I actually thrifted this dress but I wanted to show you because it's so pretty and it really made me actually look into Sandro and I love their stuff like their dresses are so feminine and grown a little bit pricey but like quality is amazing and it's just very nice pieces so this one it looks like this I worn it on my insta as well it's just very grown as I said and I just love it it's so clean and it sits very low waisted so it's kind of got like the old school style and I also thrifted a pair of boots which like imagine these together with the Sandro dress so yeah, as I said, I thrifted these, so I don't know if you guys can actually get your hands on them because I do not know where they're from. But I'm mostly sharing them because if you guys get inspired, then you might be able to look for a pair of similar just square at the front. These in the summertime with the dresses, phenomenal. I only have one last piece actually, which is from Massimo Dutti. I still haven't figured out how to say the name of the brand, but Ma Massimo Dutti? Massimo Dutti? 
So it is this long, I don't even know, poncho maybe? It's long poncho, which I got such Dubai vibes from this, you guys. I just figured, I got it now because I was like, if it does sell out, but I'm not planning on wearing this in Sweden. I'm just not getting the vibe from it. So I figured this in Dubai would be a so little cute. Like, it's just so nice. And it's made out of linen, I think. It's super luxury. It was a bit pricey, but I just... Fell in love with it. It has pockets as well. Massimo Dutti, like, we need to go there often because they have such nice stuff. I just remember I wanted to show you guys where I get my hoops from as well because I've been getting this question a lot to where I buy my gold hoops. Always wear, yeah, I'm wearing some right now as well. I literally get all my hoops from ASOS and that's just because I find them cute. I find them last long and they're good price. So I do have a bunch of them, but I'm just gonna show you like my favorites. So the ones that I'm wearing right now, they're kind of like a bigger style, but usually I would go for, these are very cute. As you can see, they're kind of small, but chunky. And then these, I just recently picked them up. They're kind of the same, but like, as you can see, they kind of look like a triangle. Um, so ASOS it is, you guys. I forgot to mention it when I was talking about ASOS. Like, the prices are amazing and they look so cute and they're super trendy. Like, ASOS always comes out with new styles, new things. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope I covered everything um, that you guys have been wondering about. I think I did at least. So that is the end of today's video, you guys. I hope it was interesting and that you found out where the things are from that you've been asking on Insta and do not forget to go over there and follow me as well if you guys want more updates from me and until next time I love you guys so much take care bye bye